Hey, who's there? Shut up, bitch. Who said that? Shh, I think I found one. Found what? Just eat your sandwich, bat. Hey now, reveal yourself. Bottom number two. That's right, it's me. Bottom number two. What are you doing hiding in the bushes? And where's the rest of the gay bottom mafia? I'm cruising for Michael, so just buzz off. No, oh, that's wrong, that's bad. That goes against everything that we're supposed to be doing right now. Was there any there? Just a very handsy possum. Good, good, there, there shouldn't be. Did you see how those gays in New York City got canceled after partying in that small studio apartment? Yes. Do you want to be a canceled gay, bottom number two? No, but I haven't had in weeks. I don't think my innards have ever been this dry. Wow. I'm so dried out, it feels like sandpaper rubbing against sandpaper. <laughs> I'm so dried out, I think my hole can start a forest fire. No, 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 no. I'm so dried out that I- I get it, you're not wet. I think I'm going crazy, Michael. I could tell, but I'm sorry, your hole is not an essential service. Okay, tell that to Ladder 39 in downtown Scottsdale. <laughs> is that a 12 inch? Uh, it's called a foot long, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, where is the rest of the gay bottom mafia? I can't. What? They're who? They've become clowns. Worse. Tops. Oh, uh, how? Why? Who? Because uh? there's already a shortage of tops, Michael. And with everything going on, they're in even higher demand. Wow, they were that desperate for a man's touch. Apparently. <laughs> I guess hungry, hungry bottoms like me are just a dime a dozen. So when the going gets tough, they run and become tops. It's a good thing I'm a top, then. Bitch, I saw the way you were eyeballing that sandwich. Anyway, you are not a dime a dozen. You're a really important random bottom to a really important random top for when the time comes. Bottoming is a lifestyle, Michael. Uh, so I've heard. I'm the real deal, tried and true. I get that. I can't go any longer without a man's touch. I know, I get it, believe me, I do. It's hard right now to go without touch or affection and for us queer people to not have our queer safe spaces for us to congregate at with our peers like at bars or clubs. Or bushes. Yeah or bushes. So right now it could be an extra lonely time. I haven't even had a hug in weeks. The second I get to shake a man's hand, I'll probably explode in my pants. But we just have to do our best to be as strong as we can right now until things cool down. You're right. I'll do my best. Good. Go home. Sit on something there. Okay. Hey, and if I crack at least I don't put it on Instagram like those dummies in New York City. So dumb. So dumb. So dumb. Dumb. <laughs>